All right now, a new Free State Premier is expected to be elected and announced today. It follows the resignation of Sistine Dombela, who lost the race for provincial chair against Nkolisi Tugwana. The ANC has endorsed Tugwana for the position. Our reporter Moloko Moloto is in Bloemfontein for us, and he joins us now live. So, Moloko, the provincial leaders there held a briefing earlier. What did they have to say exactly? Hello, Masoro Ratlaga. Indeed, the leaders of the ANC were essentially telling us that, uh, telling us what we know already, that Ngoli Dukwana is going to be standing for election in a moment uh, from now, specifically from quarter past two this afternoon, as a replacement for Sisi Ndombela, whom we know resigned early this week. And, of course, they have had to surmount, you know, perceptions that uh, they are purging those who did not agree with them leading to the provincial conference that elected Nkoli Sidukwana who defeated Sisin Tombele and they are saying they don't purge, they are not removing anyone, they are in the process of renewing themselves as an organization. Interestingly, they are saying that they believe Sisin Tombele as premier did a good job going further to say that uh, she inherited the um, work from the previous uh, Premier, Ace Mahashule, and she laid a solid foundation which they say the incoming Premier, Ngolisi Dukwana, is going to be building on. Yet we know that uh, there are still issues here, municipalities that are in a state of paralysis. We know recently that municipalities, several of them, returned about 800 million rent to the National Treasury money that had been allocated for services in municipalities. They return that money to the National Treasury when in areas such as Botsabelo, the people there, Masero, are still using the bucket system. They don't have proper sanitation facilities. In some instances, people are battling with uh, water provision, and yet this uh, government has returned money to the National Treasury. They did not tell us where they are taking uh, Sisin Dombela to, but they are saying she will be redeployed. Maybe let's listen to the deputy chairperson of the ANC in the Free State, Mr. Dodoma Gome, who was telling us that uh, it is in the culture of the ANC all the time to assess itself and um, make changes as they are needed. The priority of composing the government lies with the premier. He will come and discuss with us as the ANC. But he's the only one who will say, I change the department, I change these individuals in this manner. Not because they have not supported the current PEC. You are not giving individuals the right to change individuals that have had their own right to support whoever that they support in the conference of the ANC. Actually, it was good. It was one conference in the ANC that has never had for some time, where you have comrades contesting each other peacefully and freely without any intimidation and without any coercion that people will be expelled. So it is not true that people who have not voted for the current PC are being purged or are being removed. The fact of the matter is that the ANC has arrived at a point where we need to actually review the structure as to how are we going to serve our people better. And uh, Maluko, what is the former Premier Sisin Dombela saying? This, I believe, would be the first time that we've heard from her since Tuesday. Well, maybe quickly before I give you the reaction of the outgoing Premier Sisin Dombela, the other changes that are happening here in the Free State Masero are at uh, the metro, the only metro of Mangaun in the Free State. We know they told us uh, that um, Kolisi Sionzana, the executive mayor there, today resigned as the executive mayor and they say the process to replace him is already underway. They are telling us that the national officials of the ANC are all going to be interviewing the three candidates who are going to be replacing the outgoing policy Sionzana and their names being uh, Gregory Ntatisi, a veteran of the ANC here in the Free State, but also Lulama Otiti, 
or Odili Titi. She is currently a member of the mayoral committee serving under the outgoing executive mayor. And Lawrence Matahe, the man who in November was elected as the regional chairperson of the ANC in uh, Mangawung Conference, the conference, the regional conference that was endorsed by the National Executive Committee of the ANC on Monday. Now, the premier, outgoing premier, Sisin Tombela, was asked, you know, just to reflect on her performance given the challenges that still plague these municipalities. We spoke about the bucket toilets in areas such as Wotsabelo, and she's telling us that she's going to be handing over a report and to uh, hand over a report to the incoming premier, and then she's saying we can question her about her performance. Now, she responding to uh, questions as to whether she feels that she's been patched or not. She's saying, look, this is the nature of the ANC. At some point, she says she was the chief whip of the ANC in the legislature. She was deployed to parliament and she was brought to the province. To her, she's saying that this is nothing new and uh, she doesn't feel like uh, she is being patched by the new leaders of the ANC. Let's listen to Sisin Dombel. Let me start by saying... Uh all of us, fortunately, I grew up in the ANC. I'm not more than four, 40 years in the ANC. I understand how ANC works. And uh, you know, in ANC, I understand how there is a deployment and redeployment, and it is not for the first time for me to be redeployed. If some of you can remember, I was once the chief whip of the Free State, and I was redeployed to a, 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 a national assembly and uh, in national assembly I was also redeployed back to the free state that's our life if you are a politician you must understand this thing so Mona there is no kingdom any time is tea time so if uh, the decision of the uh, leaders have just decided to say no Mantombela we are now redeploying you to somewhere, then I must just abide with the rules of the African National Congress. So there's no harm, comrades. That's how we work. We understand these things, and we don't have any, 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 any harm against it. So I am redeployed, and I'm accepting it 100%. All right, Muloko Muloto, live for us in Bloemfontein. Thank you. Let's leave it there for now.